liver is oriented in the body like this. this the inferior vena cava is here. Now I'm going to turn the liver model over so you can see the underside. Here's the other end of the inferior vena cava and this is the gallbladder. The gallbladder stores bile that's made by the liver and then sends it to the small intestine for uh, fat digestion. I'm going to switch to a larger model so that we can see what the interior looks like. So again, we're looking now at the undersurface of the liver. Here's the gallbladder. Now the cells produce bile and it travels through an extensive system of bile ducts until it reaches the gallbladder for storage. But there's also a direct line from the liver to the small intestine. So if somebody has a, a removal of a gallbladder, they are still able to get a small amount of bile into the small intestine. Right next to the bile duct system is the hepatic portal vein. The hepatic portal vein brings deoxygenated blood from the stomach, the small intestine, and the large intestine directly to the liver. The liver is going to cleanse that blood and remove any toxins that may have been absorbed. Now, in addition, the liver receives oxygenated blood through the hepatic artery, which is a branch of the celiac trunk. The liver is very unusual in that it has both an oxygenated supply of blood and a deoxygenated supply of blood. We'll see in a moment that they do intermingle and exit eventually through hepatic veins which feed into the inferior vena cava. The next model is going to be a microscopic view of the interior showing that you have repeating patterns with small branches of the hepatic artery, bile duct, and hepatic portal veins. These are going to be located between many, many lobules of the liver. In the center of a lobule, we're going to find another vein called the central vein. On this part of the model, we're going to see a blow-up of this region. So the central vein, which is here in the middle, is here on this part of the model. Now, the cells, the hepatocytes, uh, do make bile, which is their only contribution to digestion. And the bile then is dumped into small bile ducts, which flow eventually to here, and then the bile is going to exit the liver, be stored in the gallbladder, or delivered directly to the small intestine. So the flow of bile is this way. Remember that we've got a dual blood supply. This is the hepatic portal vein, and this is the hepatic artery. Both of these vessels deliver blood into sinuses, which are nice large spaces coming through, lined by hepatocytes. The hepatocytes then uh, are oxygenated, and they have an opportunity at the same time to remove toxins from the blood coming from the digestive tract. All of this blood now, which is intermingled, uh, oxygenated and deoxygenated, all of it flows 
eventually to the central vein. The central veins then uh, unite into larger and larger veins, eventually emptying into the inferior vena cava.